everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you two garden DIYs. One a more practical piece to tuck away your seat cushions and stuff like that. And the other one a beautiful decor piece for your backyard. So sit in for this. For my first DIY, I will take floorboards like that. We have them on the ceiling in our outdoor space, but we had some smaller pieces left over, so I decided to use them. And what I will create here, I will cut them to size and I will create a crate on wheels for this outdoor space to put cushions in or whatever. So I have cut them to size and I decided to go for 120 centimeters for the long parts and these parts are 50 centimeters. So what I will do now is to put them together and I will do that with a rubber hammer as you can see here. Just put them in the slots like that, squeeze them in. They are old but I did well and I did that on all sides of the crate and I went for a height of five wood boards. This crate will be quite big, so on the next step, putting all the sides together, I needed an assistant and Hubby is here for the rescue. So we have put them together with these tools so we can keep them straight and we have some wood strips that we will screw the sides into and keep it together that way. It's going to be a rustic crate, but a beautiful looking one. So we're drilling pilot holes and put these nice screws in on two of the boards on each side. The other boards we will screw in and secure with just ordinary screws. So once we're done with that and it's stable enough we go in in the center of the large boards with an extra wood strip this video is part of the third Thursday thrift flips challenge hosted by Tammy at the Rusted Willow and Elizabeth at Southern GMO Girls and if you're not familiar with these ladies jump on over right after this video and check out what they have to offer you will find the links to their channels in my description along with the link to the playlist of this challenge for more thrift flip ideas here I'm sanding off the crate just roughly to prepare it for painting it's gonna be a rustic one, so it doesn't need to be super, super smooth, but smooth enough. Take away all the dirt. Here you can see the other screw holes. I'm just going to take some wood filler and cover them up. So the only thing showing will be the beautiful industrial looking ones. The crate is turned upside down as you can see there the wood strips are a little bit shorter that is to fit the bottom of uh, the crate so it will be sunk in like that and now we will secure it and we have some extra wood boards that we will use for that and you can see them right here and my husband have made grooves in there to fit over the wood boards, the things sticking out there. So we just uh, clamp them together tightly and then screw them onto the crate to start with, like you see us do here. So we have three of these wood boards that we have put across the crate. Thank you. 
Time to attach them to each and every one of the wood boards that the bottom consists of. That is eight of them. If you're new to my channel, hi! I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my YouTube family. Now putting on the wheels and what we had on hand are these old um, office chair wheels. Not maybe ideal but it will work well. Take what you have. Time to paint my crate and I do that with a black satin color and I applied two coats just on the outside. I will leave the inside as is. Once the base coat has dried, it's time to apply some dry brushing and I have mixed together some beige, some uh, gold, black and white color and I'm just brushing it on. I always start light even though I want to go heavy because uh, it might be too much too soon so I take one coat at a time and go over it like two or three times or maybe more if needed. As you can see here I think I'm on my third dry brushing coat here. And now I am done. I'm just painting the screw heads with a black acrylic and just dry brushing the edges with the same black acrylic paint. On the top edge of my crate, the wood boards have a groove in them. So I decided to cover that groove up with some nautical rope. So I just put hot glue into that groove and press down the nautical rope. Time to embellish my crate and I do that with this placemat that I got from a restaurant in the neighborhood here. I fell in love with the print and I thought I could do things with it. So I am placing it where I want it and cover up what I don't need spray paint on and just spray paint this placemat. Et voila, you can see how it looks and I do that three times on the long sides and one time on each of the short sides and it turned out to be a great print, perfect and I did that with a black, I think it was a matte colour, could be glossy, not sure, <laughs> doesn't matter. Time to put handles on and I have these two left over so I just measure very very carefully because it's a nuisance if the holes I'm going to drill will not fit the holes in the handles. I'm measuring several times to be sure, drill my holes and just screw them in place. So I will have two handles on the front of this crate.
Et voilà, here it is in my outdoor space. Almost ready to show you completely this space. I'm so excited to show that video. And here are my seat cushions. And it's looking good, I think. Totally fulfill its purpose. Tell me, what do you think? For my second DIY, I got inspired online. I saw this beautiful rustic piece and I thought I wanted to recreate that. So I've taken some pallet wood and I'm going to make a frame. And it will be quite a large frame, 75 times 45 centimeters. So I will cut them in an angle so I have a nice finish to it. So I will set my mitre saw to a 45 degree angle. And as you can see here on the laser, it will be a nice cut. So I'm just measuring and cutting my pieces to size like that. And when we want the cut, in the other direction you just have to adjust your miter saw in the other direction so this is how they look perfect perfect angles rustic wood boards so i'm taking them outside and sanding off the front of this frame just a little bit to prepare it for painting. To attach the corners together, I'm just taking some scrap pieces that I just cut off and place it like that. And I will drill some pilot holes, just not to split the wood and then screw it together one screw on each of the frame pieces so it will stay together nicely like so time to put on a base coat on the frame and i'm using my black satin color for that and only one coat and then I let it dry and from there I went over to dry brushing which is the really fun part. So I covered it completely and set it to dry. And here I am with my dry brushing. In my last project I went over it like three times and here I think I went over it five times because I wanted a heavy dry brushing to make it look like grayish, very old uh, wood. And if you just dry brush it very heavy to start with, it will more look like you painted it and not dry brushed it. So I'm only using white acrylic paint for this dry brushing here. My inspiration piece had a bird in the corner but I decided to go for a butterfly and I made a sketch here, a very simple one and I'm going to make it out of this metal wire I'm just cutting it to size and with my pliers I'm just bending these swirly curly ends I have a bigger one on the top and a smaller one on the bottom and then I am taking the next one you will see how it will look it will be placed right there cut it to size and make the smaller curl there as well I'm on to my last one, just bending that to size and just um, 
try to make the same size as the one I have already done so the sides look somewhat alike. To attach the different wires I will take some very thin wire, small pieces and just put them together very loosely to start with to see that everything fits and then I will go back and tighten them. In my inspiration piece, the frame was sitting on an easel made out of birch wood. I had some branches in my garage, but they were not straight enough, so I had to abandon the easel part. Was a bit sad about that, but I had another idea which I will show you in a couple of minutes once this butterfly is finished. You never know what direction a creation might take you. That's the fun part about it, I think. So now I am making the body of the butterfly and I'm just taking a stem from just a faux flower that I had and I'm taking another thinner white wire doesn't matter the color but uh, mine was white and I'm making tiny swirls that will be the antennas for my butterfly so I'm making two of these like that cutting them to size and then I will attach them to this stem And then the next step is to cover the whole piece in this white wire, like that. And once I'm done, I will attach the body to the wings just with some more wire, some thin wire that will not show as much. Time to spray paint my butterfly creation. I think it turned out nice. And I'm using a gold color and a, just a touch of matte black spray paint just to dull it a little bit. Here you can see my new idea. My hubby is helping me here. We are attaching a white shadow box to the frame that I just made and this white shadow box I just thrifted it a couple of weeks ago for three euros and it was just perfect for this creation. We just turn it around and you can see it a lot better. So I'm putting it off center a little bit. Happy hey! So there we have it. Beautiful, isn't it? And in that white frame, I will put my flower. And we're just thinking of how to attach the flower so it will lean slightly. My hubby came up with this idea with this metal ribbon so we just cut it to size and measure once more with the flower so it will be perfect slightly tilted like that and then I will hold it in place my hubby will attach it with just a couple of screws before I put the flower in place I will spray the whole thing with a varnish a couple of times just to make it more durable for the weathers outside because it's going to sit outside in my backyard We 
we attach my butterfly in the corner with just some staples. I have decided to put my creation onto our stone wall in the backyard. Beautiful, I think. Perfect scenery. My husband has drilled a couple of holes and now put in a couple of screws and then just hang the whole creation in place. If you like this video and videos like this, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button as well for more inspirational videos. My aim is to upload one or two videos per week. And here it is, my creation. I am so in love with this. Look at it. And with the ivy already growing on the wall there. Beautiful with the butterfly, I think. flower perfect harmony and i did put in a ikea full flower there just set it on the shadow box tell me what you think of my creations today did you have a favorite let me know in the comments you know i love to read your comments If you want more thrift inspiration straight away, head on over to my description box and hit that playlist link to this challenge. Just click and enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.